Hey teachers, this is Bex from Reading and Writing Redhead, and I just want to show and explain to you a little bit about what you're going to get in the third grade beginning of the year math review, digital. So when you um, get the Google folder from TPT, this is what's inside the folder. So things are numbered to help you stay organized, and there are two teacher sections now one is the answer key so you might want to like click on that click on the three dots and move that to somewhere else in your drive so the kids can't see it or if you don't need it delete it and teacher tips and help for sharing so what we have going on here the numbers are so that you can say to the students hey you guys are going to do assignment one today and assignment three tomorrow now you'll notice that there are also video lessons in here. So for assignment two, place value, your kids can watch a video lesson if they need some refreshment, and then they can do the place value review. If you're not gonna watch the, have them watch them, you can again, oops, just delete them. Okay, so let's look at some of these to give you a quick little walkthrough. Okay, on the word problems activity, they are two-digit word problems, so we've put some base 10 blocks, and when kids move, there's more underneath. Then they're going to click and type their answer here. Okay, so fairly straightforward. So let's look at place value review. Now you'll notice some of these slideshows have a helpful video that the students can watch themselves. Now, there's three different types of slides in here. One is where they will answer the question and click and drag their answer to the answer box. In this one, they need to show the number with tens and ones, and actually that these should not be there, so I will fix that for you. Then the final slide, uh, types of slides, is just simply comparing, and again, that's, sorry, <laughs> I moved those for the kids video forgot to put them back. So the kids will see this and then they'll compare the numbers and click and move. Okay, let's take a look at assignment three, skip counting, which is pretty straightforward. The students are going to read the pattern and then continue the pattern. Some are hundreds, some are tens, some are ones. And there we go and continue on that way. Now I tried to incorporate some games. So this game is called Add 10 and Add 100 and they can watch the video here. Also they can read the directions or click on the audio and I will read it to them. But the gist here, this is Add 10 and this is Add 100. So let me just show you with Add 100. They're gonna pick a game piece, put it on Start. Then they can um, use a die if they have one to roll how many spaces they're going to move or click and use a fun virtual spinner. So let's do that. So they can just click on the wheel. They can click spin it or drag the wheel to spin. So I will do that. It'll zoom in and you know, ta-da, we're going to land on three. And cute little sound effects. Now the students do have to click resume to spin again. So note that. All right, so we're gonna go back and move our piece three, one, two, three, so we landed on 222, and the game is add 100. So the child needs to add 100 to, whoop, 222 plus 100 is 322, and then they can spin again. That is how it works, and there is a record sheet, so be sure if you want your kids to use it that you let them know. Okay, and this is an add two, three, or four two-digit number game. So the video here, I think, for the kids is very helpful. So let's look at the two, two, add two two-digit numbers. So again, they can use a die at home, but they need to make a um, two-digit number. So they can roll one die twice, or in the video, I do show them how you can use this slider and the settings wheel to make it just have two, di two dice there. So this would be two tens, six ones, 26. Let's just, whoops, roll again. So I, wow, okay, 26 again. Okay, 
So then we'd go in, we'd enter our numbers, the students would work on the math and enter the sum. And the difference in these is this is easier because it's only adding two two-digit numbers. This green background, they're gonna add three two-digit numbers. And here, the ultimate challenge, but which they're supposed to have practiced last year, but they may not have because of school closures, is add four two-digit numbers. Okay, two of the Common Core state standards for second grade are also um, solving money word problems with coins and measurement word problems. So we have 12 slides here for that. And students can use these to help them. And let's see, Lakshmi found three dimes. These again are clickable. They can just move them over. Okay, so then the students will have to use dollars and cents notation. So, okay, type that in. Now, there will be a video for students. You cannot see it yet, but there'll be a little refresher video. All right, now also we have measurement word problems. So like this one, Anne measured her cat's tails. Fluffy's tail, 14 centimeters. Sam's tail, 15. How many centimeters were they in all? And if the kids wanted to, they could use these 10 centimeter rulers. Again, they're gonna type their answer in there. These are 12 inch rulers, so they do have the correct um, unit. All right, last one, and I do have a review video um, for students that will be posted here in the place of the first slide, so everything will be moved down. But um, arrays are introduced in second grade and students need to be able to make a repeated addition number sentence. So they're gonna look at the arrays here and then they should be able to say, oh, there's you know three in each row, two rows of three, so three plus three is six. And then I differentiated it a little bit, so that's a little bit easier. Then we get down to like, let's say this football one, I mean the nuts one, it's just a blank line with equals. So the students have to be able to construct their own equation here. And it needs to be repeated addition, which I do review for them in the video. So let's do, 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 do. okay, great. So that is the basics of how it works. Let's go back to the main folder. Okay, I misspoke anyway on the last two slideshows that I mentioned, the video lessons are in this folder. They won't be actually embedded in the slideshow. But that should be everything you need to know to get your kids started. So if you get stuck, um, feel free to ask me or Google. Thanks, have fun everyone.